Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. Just kind of paying attention to some of my colubrid snakes here. This just is a beautiful Okatee corn snake here. And the fact is, is that we are getting ready for brumation. That's right, we're already in September, people. Basically, what happens is we feed these guys until the beginning of October. We give them about a month off of food because you want them to clean out before brumation. And then we actually put them down, down to 52 degrees or so for three months. Look at this animal right here. This is actually an albino reverse Oka tea corn snake that is absolutely a ripper. So these guys did so well and they're definitely beefed up really nice getting in ready for brumation. Because again, you want these guys to have like all that body weight, right? You don't want to put them down into a three month brumation if they're underweight because that can actually be a bad thing. They can even perish to be honest with you. But all the animals here are looking really good. This is just a hypo corn snake. Again, it was a wonderful 2020 colubrid breeding season. And it's gonna be a bummer to see these guys go away for three months, but hey, that's all part of the cycle. And we're gonna get ready for brumation literally in less than two months. And the same thing goes for the ball pythons and pythons and boas. Well, at least most of the pythons and boas down here, they're actually getting ready for breeding again crazy enough this is just a fire yellow belly you can see this one laid eggs but now has beefed up really well and looks really ready for the next stage right so weirdly enough uh we got two clutches still to be laid we still have a bunch of clutches to hatch and we are literally gearing up for the next breeding season which is just absolutely always crazy it's always a cycle right i always tell people that it never ends when you're a snake breeder and take a look at this champ pin right here again this girl laid let's see we can look right here 12 all the eggs earlier this year and she looks so beefy now the idea really is is we don't want these animals to get too beefy at this point we want them to gain back all their body weight but we don't want them to be fat or kind of overweight because what we want to do is food cycle them here about the end of October where we start really start hammering food and that's going to trigger follicular growth right so it's kind of like a little bit of a cooling but at the same time more about food cycling so it's weird again that uh, lots of things are always in a cycle right brumation with colubrids and then of course we have pythons down here that are getting ready. And then when boas, like the common Colombian boas start breeding literally in September and October, but the rainbow boas don't start breeding until about February, so they got food. So uh, again, it's kind of knowing your animals and getting the cycle, but we have a lot going on and we still have a bunch of baby snakes hatching every single day. Remember that clutch of albino cine to albino pie? Well, they hatched out. And look, at here's a little albino cine. This is an albino cine. This is an albino cine. This is an albino cine that are all hatched for pie. And then there's a bunch of albinos. But while I was looking, guess what we found right here? I am excited about this. There's one little baby here, and there's two little babies right there. There's actually twin albinos in this egg right here. You can see the second little baby right there. Look at how cute they are. Unbelievable. Of course, these are both normal albinos, but they're hat for pied. How cool is that? We got twin baby albinos hat for pied. That is amazing. So this clutch was great. 10 eggs, 11 babies. How good is that? That's right. And a bunch of albino cindy hat pies, and then some albinos hat for pied, including these two cute little monkeys right here, the little albino twins. How awesome is that? This is the second albino twins that we've had this year. Of course, the first ones that were hat for pied though, the other ones were just normal albinos, and they're doing great, by the way. They're about six, seven weeks old now, eating, growing, doing absolutely amazing. So how awesome is that? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. One of the things I've been doing lately, it's been just so much fun, is I'll get a bunch of crocodile chow like this. This almost looks like dog kibble, right? And I'll just kind of hand it to him like this. What do you want, bud? You want to eat it like a doggy? <laughs> I, just think it's, I just think it's so hilarious to see him eat like that, these little tiny things. And you can see he's just like, oh. <laughs> I just never in my wildest dreams, you know, as I was coming up with reptiles, you know, when I was younger, thought that I would literally be able to hold a bowl of food for a monitor lizard like this, a little dinosaur, and him just take it like nothing. There you go, bud. There you go. There you go. 
<laughs> I get so many hours of enjoyment just sitting around doing stuff like this with Elvis. I mean, he is absolutely ridiculous. actually a pretty interesting clutch right here. This is a fire yellow belly female, which I really like that combination. It was actually bred to a pinstripe red stripe yellow belly as well, but it only bred at one time. The majorities were actually bred by a Cine Cypress male. So that could be Cine Fire, Cine Cypress Fire, Cine Cypress Fire yellow bellies, or the red stripe could be the dad, not 100% sure. Lots of eggs in this clutch, 11 eggs to go. Let's jump in, figure out who the male is first, and figure out what kind of cool babies we're gonna have in this clutch. And the first egg should tell us a lot, to be totally honest with you. Not necessarily, but there's a good chance of it. And right off the rip, okay, right off the rip, we have a Cine here. Looks like maybe just a Cine Cypress, to be honest with you. It doesn't look like it's a fire, but now we know the Cine Cypress is probably gonna be fathering this clutch. Like I said, now what I'm hoping for is some Cine Yellow Belly Fire Cypress stuff. That would be ridiculous. Let's go ahead, jump onto egg number two. We've got a lot of eggs in this clutch. And until they hatch out, I won't be able to tell for sure what some are, but ooh, whoa, 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 what, what, wait, wait a second, whoa. That thing is crazy. What? I don't know. What the hell is it? What is it? I, <laughs> I, oh my gosh, this is so much better than I expected. This is a fire, cine, cypress, yellow belly. It's the all gene animal and it is dope. I mean, it is so much cooler that it almost looks like a soul sucker or something like that. I was not expecting it to be that cool. I'm excited and, and we're only on egg number two, guys. Let's hope we produce some more of that and some other combinations. Let's keep going. All right, here we go. Next up, what do we have? Ooh, another pretty snake right here. All right, so this looks like Get the heck out of here. It's another one. It's another fire, yellow belly, cypress, cine. Holy moly, we've had two of them, guys. Wow, I, I, I'm excited now. We still have like eight eggs to go. So let's just, let's keep going. Let's, let's hit eight more of these things. That would be amazing. And like I said, those are so much prettier than I expected. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So this one looks like, to be honest with you, this looks like maybe, Maybe just a fire cine. It doesn't look like cypress. Definitely not yellow belly. It looks like a fire cine to me. So that's, but that's a cool snake as well. So, all right, let's keep moving. Holy cow, guys, man. My heart rate gets so high when I'm cutting eggs like this, especially when we start hitting cool stuff. This is cool. This looks like a fire cine cypress. Doesn't look like the yellow belly. So it's missing the one gene that really fades things out, but nevertheless still hit three of the four genes and it's a ripper. Wow, I tell you what, this clutch has already turned out to be a dream clutch. All right, so what do we have here? Ooh, it's really pretty. Looks like this is actually a cypress yellow belly maybe, which is cool because I haven't seen very many cypress yellow bellies. So the cypress has that really cleaning thing, has a nice strike down it, and then this yellow belly kind of cleans it up too. So that actually looks pretty cool. I was excited. I didn't even think we could produce that. I wasn't thinking about that, but that's a pretty cool looking snake. We still have five eggs to go, guys. Wow, this is crazy. This is a nice clutch right here. All right, looks like uh, it's hard to say, probably. Oh, wait, wait a second. You know what? This is a fire cine cypress again. You can tell by that like really big stripe down its back that it's cypress. That's that cypress gene that really does that with the cinnamon. And then the fire kind of cleans it up, makes it a little bit brighter. And then of course the dark morph of the cine. So four eggs ago, so far I could not have imagined this clutch being much better, but I hope we can hit a couple more all gene animals. Literally when I cut that first all gene animal, I was like, what the heck is that? Okay, so we have looked like just a cine cypress right here. But again, you can see that big striping down its back. That's that cypress gene that's really influencing. So these guys are really good examples of cypress. Three more eggs. This egg's kind of hiding here on the bottom, which makes it a little hard to cut. 
But what do we have here? I'm trying to see. It looks really cool, whatever it is. Oh, that's another all gene right there, guys. I'm, it's another all gene. That's another fire. It's another cine. It's another cypress. And it's another yellow belly. So another all gene animal. Two eggs to go. Wow, what a clutch. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. That clutch has been ridiculous. Okay, weirdly enough, we got just a fireball bite then. This is the first single gene animal we produce, so this clutch has been ridiculous. Last egg, let's just finish it with an all gene animal. What do you guys say? Oh my goodness gracious, this clutch. And weirdly enough, looks like we finish it with another fireball python. So two single gene animals to finish, but tell you what guys, that was amazing. I cannot wait till these hatch in the next couple days and show you what they look like outside the egg because they are rippers. All right, so uh, wow, that was awesome. So I've been looking at these green basilisks now for a couple months and, and remember we we're gonna try to socialize and habituate them, but every time I open up the cage, they're so fast. Today, I think I'm just gonna go for it and see. What's the worst that can happen, right? I mean, they run away, we'll catch it, right? So let's see if we can't get one of these little monkeys out of here. I mean, they are just getting big and they're amazing. I'm gonna go for the male, if at all possible. There's the males over in the corner over here. Oh my God, what's gonna happen? So, okay, good, he's, wow, he just bit me. Are you kidding? Whoa, whoa there goes one, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, there it goes. Okay. This didn't go as well as I was hoping. Woo, woo. Okay, 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 calm down. I think that I didn't <laughs> let any out. Holy moly. Okay, so remember when I said I wanted to mess with these guys? Uh, I, think, I think I made a mistake. First off, the male bit me when I even got close to him. And now this is actually a female, but she's actually kind of chill right now. But look, she's got her mouth open. I really want these guys to be habituated and chill, so maybe I'll try to <laughs> bite the bullet and do this from time to time, but oh my gosh. I think uh, at first I thought I made a huge mistake. I thought all three were gonna be out and I'd be in trouble, but uh, we at least caught them all, and uh, yeah, it didn't work out the way I thought, but still pretty cool. Look at it, I'm getting a chance to interact with it. It seems to be pretty cool. Okay, some more unboxing, you guys. Uh, trying to catch up on all the stuff that you sent me. Thank you guys always for being so amazing. This one actually comes from Nick's Blackburn. So thank you, Nick. Hi, Brian, I've been watching your YouTube videos since 2018. I've always had love reptiles. However, your videos sparked my interest even more. Now I have many reptiles and I'm trying to breed my two piebald ball pythons. My friend and I went to the Reptarium in April. I love me meeting you and your amazing animal ambassadors. My favorite is Casper. What do we have? Oh, that's actually a pretty dope shirt, to be honest with you. Oh, I mean, you don't see too many Felsuma fel shirts. Felsuma. Yeah, day gecko fel shirts, so that's awesome. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you came, and I hope you can come back and visit us sometime. I'm excited for this one. You're excited Let for this one? This. Why? Because I read on the outside, since it was from Canada. Oh, it should be it's maple syrup. It's a dog leash and collar. Oh, my God, that's dope. Nice. That oh, my goodness. Dope. This is super Ooh, nice. That's super so cool. Here, I've been watching your vlogs every day, and I am a huge huge fan. Uh, we own a family dog collar business, i.e. the dog nice. collars, and I must say that both of you, the staff, Noah, have helped us during COVID-19 crisis. Well, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Well, we appreciate your dog collars. They're absolutely oh, amazing. Oh, it's a bracelet. Okay, it says the dog collars for the dogs and then a bracelet. For like, oh, so I was matching. wondering. So like, you like match Phoebe. Okay. All right, because I was like, awesome. I've never owned a dog this would fit. <laughs> As always, my girl Ivy, just cruising around always entertaining there's no doubt about that and how about twin albino ball pythons the second set of twin albino ball pythons of the year how amazing is that if you enjoyed this video as a matter of fact right here you can see last year's twin albinos that we produced how weird is that we've now had three sets of twins in the last two years albino ball pythons crazy up here can you do me a favor subscribe to my podcast channel called checking in you can subscribe to this channel blog channel right here do me a favor turn your post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you tomorrow